Alright hello folks, uh, back down at the range, time now, it's coming to 25 past 6. Uh, what I've got in front of me today are some pellets to test. Uh, the first three pellets will be uh, wad cutters. I'll be uh, shooting these at 25 yards. Now wad cutters were designed for paper punching at 10 metres, so 25 yards it's really pushing it. So I've got the uh, Bisley practice. Uh, I think we, they weigh 7.4 grains. Then we've got BSA target. They weigh 8.17 grains. And then I've got uh, Dining Mill Noble. Uh, not sure what they are but I'll post them up whenever we find out uh, so I'll be using those first and then the other two pellets I've got one is Rifle Dome and the other is uh, Kavinta Beta now the Kavinta Beta pellets they're Russian I'm not quite sure where the Rifle Domes are made I, th I think they're made in Brazil actually uh, now because these are a cheap pellet you'll find that the the consistency and the weight is not as good as what you get from a JSB or an or a H and N. Uh, I believe with the Kavinta beta pellets the the weight should be 8.2 uh, but they was coming out at 7.3 to 7.6 grains and the Rifle dome, uh, they're supposed to be something like 7.9, and they was there's all over, they was between 8.2 and 8.9. Uh, so we'll see how they go. Uh, but I'll, I'll be shooting these probably at 25, and then I'll push these further out because these are not rod cutters. Although the Kavinta one has got a flat head to it, but it's more of a haunting pellet, so uh. That is a pellet I'm testing. Uh, I did get some bad news yesterday. Uh, two of my former friends from Parachute Regiment uh, found out they they died. Uh, one was Bill Cumming. He was a Scotsman from Dundee. Joined uh, the Merchant Navy as an engineering officer when he left school. Uh, during the Royal Marines Reserves, uh, when he was 25, he, he decided to change profession and go into the British Army. Uh, and he joined the Second Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. Served seven years with them. He had a few parachute uh, injuries. Uh, at the age of 32, you're pretty much your granddad in the Parachute Regiment. Uh, so he switched over to the Army Ordnance Corps. As a as a storeman, and as you can expect, it was as boring as you could expect, stacking shelves and things. So uh, it changed professions within the Army Ordnance Corps and became what we call a ammo technician or bomb disposal. Uh, and he spent the next 15 years in bomb disposal. He was out in Northern Ireland from 72. So he was there through all, all the bad times. Uh, when he retired after 22 years, he came out and then he was travelling the world with uh, a mine clearance company. So he was basically following the wars around in the first U Iraq war and uh, in Bosnia and all those places. Uh, and I got to know him really well. He was our uh, branch secretary between 2005 and uh, 2013 and he had quite a bad stroke actually and that basically put him in, in bed uh, and found out the other day he'd, he'd gone into hospital with a chest infection and he never came out so that's Bill uh, the other one is Terry White Terry was with the first parachute battalion and uh, 
he was also in the Parachute Regiment Association and he, uh, he used to have the pony mascot and he used to go to what we call in, in the uh, May time so that's where the airborne forces were born back in World War II. But yeah, it's, uh, I always used to have a good laugh with Terry. That's, we've just lost too many good people over the last 18 months. Uh, I don't know what to say really, it's pretty much devastating. But uh, there we go, I just want to think of them today. Okay then, so uh, let's get on with the test. Right, I'm going to start off with the uh, Bisley Practice 7.4 grains. Had quite a strong crosswind this morning from left to right, so uh, it could affect these with them being flathead. Uh, but we'll see. So, go for the top target and hopefully we will be somewhere near the uh, target. Yeah, flying quite a bit. In these. Right, so that's busy practice. Next up, it'll be the BSA target. I mean, wad cutters are designed to make a nice, neat, round hole. It can be pretty good for pest control, actually, ratting for close range because it's like blunt force drawn. The flat head. Like I say, they, they actually designed for paper punching at 10 meters, so two and a half times that. If it be zero wind, you'll probably get a better result than we are on there. Is on and off, custom. And then middle target. Nine point eight. Oh, that's a point. 
point. We'll scratch the last one because I didn't change the, uh, the settings. This way, 8.17. But uh, don't take that as gospel because they're not weighed. That's normally done from an average of 10 pellets. So that's a BSA target. <coughs> Put one more in it. Double feed. Bath good. That's a better result than the uh, busy practice. BSA target, quite a good uh, good palette as well. Looking at it, right. So the final one in the rod cutters will be the uh, Dining Mill Noble. It's probably 25 standard deviation eight. From that. Because I don't know the weight of these all uh, I won't be recording. But uh, listen to the foot poundage between 10 and half and 11 foot pounds. If there was all the same weight that is. I don't know what the weight is because I didn't weigh that. Now because these are rod putters, there's normally gives you more room in a magazine. They work well in air pistols as well. Right, got on one. So, uh, obviously they're all fired through a magazine, probably get a better result single shot fed, but my fingers are like sausages, and these pellets are dead small, so sod that. Right, so next up, that was the rod quarters, next up I'm going for these other two pellets I've not tried before. I know Big Dan from Big Dan's Air Guns, he's done the rifle domes before. 
so we'll see how they are. Uh, that'll be the first uh, first one up actually, followed by the Cavinta uh, pellets. Next up are the Rifle Dome. Sure, I've got the right ones here. Yeah. Well, that uh, as it went in, it was a bit hard. So, damaged pallet. This one could be as well. Yeah. And the cat. That's it. Yeah. So. I've I think that was light down to the magazine feed that caused that, but up to all the magazine issues, you can see it seemed to be doing well. Right, that weighed uh, 7.6 grain, uh, 8.6 grain, I should say. Uh, the Vinta beaters weigh 7.6 grain. These are the ones with like a flat head to It's in quite easy. There's one in it. So these, these are easy to load. Very nice result, wasn't it? Loose, loose in the magazine, probably. Right, I'm going to do something silly now. Stick it out to 30 yards. I'm going to single shot feed them. Same two pallets again. Just to see how it does.
Okay then, go back to the rifle dome at 8.6 grains. What kind of uh, power these are putting out as well? Okay then, rifle domes made in Brazil, 8.6 grains. And these are all weighed, the same. Basically, is what it says. Thirty yards. Ten. Seven. I'm not going to adjust the sights or anything. I'm just going to uh, keep the same point of aim. See what the group is. Two of the shots up somehow they all seem to be drooping okay. Ten, point, nine. Nice one. Ten, point, nine. Okay, so pretty good group. Thirty yards. Got on average is 10.8 foot pounds, a high of 10.9 and a low of 10.5. It's a spread of 0.4 foot pounds or 0.1 standard deviation. Let's see what it is in feet per second. Uh, average of 750 feet per second, high of 754, a low of 742. That's a spread of 12, standard de deviation of 3.7. Apart from the one that went to uh, ten and off foot pounds or uh, 142 feet per second, you can see most of them fell within four feet per second. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, okay, that's a pretty good result at 30 yards. You could see there was flyer. Uh, but apart from that, 30 yards, I'd say. Probably about eight to ten millimeter across. So the next one up will be the Kevin uh, Tabita. Eleven point one. Eleven point one. Use the fit that one. And this one is eleven point three. Ten point nine. 
bumps under them. Hey, no. No, Jack's, Jack's not well. Oh. 10.6. He got COVID, has he? Nice. He had a bad accident. He's got every now and again. He gets spinal problems flaring up. Ten point zero. He's a crap. Too loose to fit in the barrel. Goes into Eleven point one. So probably not see him for a few weeks then. Uh. Well, it depends on uh, successful the operations, I imagine. Ten point nine. So for this bar, these pellets are shit. Uh, a bit too loose. Right, so the Russian pallets was just too loose in the barrel. Oh. It weren't gripping the barrel, it was causing all these flies. The only ones that seemed to do well was the ones that uh, actually gripped the barrel. But uh, the rifle domes did well. We've got that one and that one like flies but all the rest are really tight group actually so they're all cheap pallets but uh, it's good to find out if they work or not but the rifle dame's probably got a bit of potential so uh, thanks for watching